She don't fuck with you cause she don't fuck with bitch niggas And you know it ain't a hit and love Scanny ass bitch there yeah. Before the video start, look, I need all y'all to go to motherfucking Amazon.com and I need y'all to type in LV Skinny Ass or Gas. You're gonna find some ass or gas shirts, you know what I'm saying? This is my first, like, these are my first actual shirts online. I'm about to have hella different clothes and shit, you know what I'm saying? So, if you support a nigga and, you know what I'm saying, all the shit I'm trying to accomplish, support a nigga then. But yeah, let's get into the video. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, V Skinny. It's your boy, Cash. And today, we is here to check out Black Customer Racially Profile in a High-End Store off of What Would You Do? Now, um, I did see this on Facebook. Honestly, nobody really recommended this. I'm not going to, like, put this on anyone. I, I just, you know, clicked it. But, you know what I'm saying? I understand this because, as y'all can see, I'm a nigga. With tattoos and dreads, you know what I'm Facts. saying? Um, when I'm in the store, I just be in there trying to spend money. I ain't in there trying to steal nothing. I ain't in there trying to make no fucking videos, like, fucking with the, the people or something. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Doing shit. But I have, all my life, felt the racially prof profiling. You know what I'm saying? Trying to spend bands, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Niggas just, niggas just trying to come out, you know what I'm saying? Spend, spend, some, spend a little bit of money, you know what I'm saying? saying. Just, just something quick, but... I, I, I do feel, you know what I'm saying, where this video is about to go. I don't know what exactly is going to happen in it, but I know exactly what it's talking about. So, let's just get into it. Over the past 10 seasons, our hidden cameras have captured some unforgettable responses to the question, what would you do? It's time to celebrate some of our favorite moments on this Flashback Friday. Flashback Friday. Today's Sunday. <laughs> Another black shopper is accusing well, the right to the Very nice. It happens too loud. African American followed, questioned, even accused of stealing simply because of the color of their skin. There are very few African American men in this country who haven't had the experience of being followed when they were shopping in a department store. That includes me. Today, we're setting up at some... What's that? What? I was about to say, honestly, I have never... I personally don't, you know what I'm saying, be paying attention to my surroundings like that to see if anyone's was following me while I'm shopping. But, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, you know what I'm saying? You guys ever shot up in here? Let's get next to you. You guys ooh. I got the grandma beside you. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Just dropped on Amigos site. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like I said, I ain't never been, like, shopping and someone really followed me personally. I have so. But if that has happened, fuck you, nigga. Like, damn, nigga, I just We're, spending my money. Real man. shit, it, what I'm going to say, it doesn't happen to every single black person. Like, honestly, like, me and Zay Rashad, we're brothers. But if y'all look at us, I don't know, y'all would probably be like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can tell I, I'm the nigga version, I guess. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess y'all can tell that. So, you know what I'm saying? It, I'm not going to say it happens to every single black person. And also, y'all see me smoke right now. Don't be like, oh, they pro shit. Pro, they coming after you because you... The fuck? That has nothing to do with you. know what I'm saying? Like, what was up? It's going to be a little bit different, though, as far as, like, say you're going to shop at JCPenney's or something like that. When you're at these places where everything is thousands of dollars, you come in looking like that word. They're going to try and treat you like that word. Yeah. Because, and then you cannot even, sometimes you cannot even, you can be just normal, but they just have that stereotype like, hmm, what they doing here? Wait, wait, What's he doing? can you say, you said JCPenney is a thousand dollar store? I'm saying it's the difference between going to JCPenney's oh, and then going to, to, to oh, okay, like okay, okay. a thousand where the shit is like some Versace or yeah, yeah. Or where they're going to sit there. It's okay. like it's only like maybe three people in there, three workers, and they just like when we went to Melrose in California, Melrose Avenue, yeah. you know what I'm saying? 
I ain't gonna say, you know what I'm saying, we popping like that where we got bands like that to spend bands, bands, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But if you would have walked up in that store like that, they probably would have looked at us like, yo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, like what are y'all doing? Can I help you? Yeah. Can yeah. I, that's the first, can you I help you? Yeah. yeah. And then they stare at you from an angle. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you may not notice them like really next to you staring at you, but they, they still like peeping like, What's now, doing? unless you like a rapper coming in and you still, got changed, still, I on still be shit. seeing that rappers yeah. be getting profiled all the time. Like they be like, man, I got all this motherfucking money, and these motherfuckers still trying to think I'm like. I do be seeing videos just like that still. It, yeah, it's, right. it's never gonna end though. Yeah, I, I it, it won't. An upscale suit and clothing store in the heart of Wall Street. Gabriel is an actor playing a customer profile. While shopping for some clothes. That belt is a $150. Why is he walking? All right. I, I will say this. I will not walk in the store with the hood on. All for it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. But he's, a, he's just an actor. I mean, I mean, yeah, I'm just saying. Both though, of these like, people still, are actors. No. But the, just for like the, the inference you know what of I'm it. Saying? Like, yeah, like if you, you know what I'm saying? If I was, if I was in his you know what I'm saying, position of acting, I would have, you know what I'm saying, made it really seem like I'm normal. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just... I, I remember this actually. I think I've seen this. He's an actor, and the guy that is going to run up and pull up on him is also an actor. Yeah. And it's people around that are like. It's it's basically, we're basically giving a reaction to their reaction <laughs> to their reactions in there. I guess because this is a show. Like basically, you gonna see people around. Like people may ignore it. People may yeah. step up. Hey, that's not right. Like. I don't know. I, I do fuck with this show. I used to watch this shit on ABC type shit just randomly. It'll come on off after like I think like Wipeout or one of them shows. And wipe I out. What Wipeout? Yeah, oh, I remember that yeah, show. That, yeah, that's what that I'm saying. Shit. Like that was funny as hell. Like this shit, I did fuck with this show. If you were shopping here and you heard this, you're in the wrong store. We don't sell urban wear here. Oh, mm-hmm. Damn. What would you do? I be seeing him on Shark Tank. Hated it. I'm out. That's right. Damon John, founder of Fubu Clothing, investor. She said Fubu. Shark Tank. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. this all. Yeah, we booming. Yeah. He got bands. Hello there. And that's him. That's right. How you doing? But I mean, he looks to us. Is there something you're looking for? Uh, just check out the jackets right now. You know, that's a $600 jacket, right? Ooh. Okay. All right, just want to let you know. Let's see right off the bat, our sales... That white girl, look at that. I'm going to talk to him. Fuck! White chocolate drop. I'm going to make sure you're aware of that. Just make sure that it's not bothering anyone out here. Uh, why would he be bothering you? I just wanted to make sure. I don't... I want to make sure customers are. Well, no. I would rather be spending my time and attention with you know ladies like you that are obviously able to afford you know clothing in the store. And that's real that they stick in that one. And I was saying, oh mom. You have a Louis Vuitton bag. You guys have. I mean, honestly, he probably has more money than we do. If he's looking at six hundred dollar jackets. I highly doubt that. Crystal Harrison that? is in. Yeah. I sh- see she like that. And it's crazy that I'm the best bow for it. You know what I'm saying? But it's crazy because, you know what I'm saying? He got some cool, right? You know what I'm saying? Not even white people. He got some cool, just interracial people. You know, mm-hmm. you have to be black, just different races. You got some cool people. Then you got them racist motherfuckers that just think they privileged. And I'm not even talking about white people. I've seen people that yeah. are not white that just think they're just privileged yeah. and shit. And that's the type of shit that just be pissed me off. Like, nigga. Heck, it can be even be black people. Yeah, exactly. For real. Exactly. Oh, for you know real. what I'm saying? I've seen I black people that. privileged and shit. I'm like, yeah. nigga, like, what the fuck makes you think? Like, nigga. Why right, we'll make you so better than you, the next person. Like, yeah, like, uh, I'm shopping in your store, my nigga. I'm probably making more than you. You get it. You shopping at this yeah, you, rate. Right? You, like, you here working way. type shit. You working. Pay. Exactly. I'm coming here to spend my money. I've been exactly. already got it. Work in like, you don't know yeah. what niggas coming in the store. Like, my nigga, I've been in a retail position. My nigga, I know how much. I don't care how big you are in a retail position. You could be working for Louis Vuitton or whatever. My nigga, you still get on an hourly pay. On a hourly yeah. pay. Niggas is coming in. During your and them hours of working, be spending money, you know what I'm saying? That's just exactly random, like hella money. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know exactly who the fuck is coming up in there. Like that's the shit that really be pissing me off, bro. Mm-hmm. Like you don't like, nigga. 
I've honestly been a cashier at a retail store and gotten tipped just because of my service and shit. And it's been because of a, yeah. a rich mother. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But go ahead, Jay Rashad. No, nah, I wasn't. I, I, I wanted you to just point across. Oh. But I was just saying, like. Yeah, same, like. Same, same, same. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know who the fuck is coming up in your store, how much money they done saved, or what business they done invested in, or what they do on YouTube. Like, nigga, I seen hella motherfuckers on YouTube that I'll probably see in person. Like, damn, I would not have even thought you got this much money. But mm. look at their subscribers and their views and shit doing. like that, what they're and doing, even, nigga. Even they these got rappers bands. that y'all stereotype, motherfuckers is getting paid. Thousands of dollars off yes. of features and yes. shows. Like, yes. y'all can look at them as these ignorant, yes. tatted up, whatever. Yes. Them motherfuckers still got money and they're still human beings. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Spend some the, money, y'all. The store. richest people usually don't look the richest. And yeah. remember That's when we seen Kevin that Hart at, the, at his concert? Yeah. He had a little baby chain. It wasn't. You don't want if you have too much money. You don't want niggas. You don't yeah. want people know. knowing that you have all this money. For Once real. you want a certain level of, you know, what I'm saying different. You realize people, that, like, what the you fuck? like, dude, you can't let people know your level. Your though. network, you know right? what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. Like what? But no, I I do respect this girl right here. I, because, I really fully respect because me. some people like say if they really don't want black people, so they would. Oh yeah, you should probably yeah, should get them out. Like now. yeah, something like. She was like, no, what the fuck? Like, I'm a stay-at-home mom. Like, he probably making more money than me. Why the... Why is... she, he shopping at something that way more expensive than yeah, what I'm like, looking at than white. That's what go to him. For real. Credulous. And then our salesman makes it crystal clear. I mean, nine times out of ten, if somebody says something, you're black. Okay? Oh, shit. That's pretty much how it goes. It's not racist. It's just... It's just All right, that was really racist. That was, yeah, that was racist. racist. It's not that racist. You guys watch the news. I mean, He's not bothering us. Okay. You're, you're more bothering us than he is. She said you're more bothering us than he is. This guy's a good actor. She said, what if he's a celebrity? She that you were exactly. Exactly. Well, because I was so uncomfortable, so I had no idea what to do. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, it's like... That's a white girl right there still. That's a white girl. That's fucking racist, guys. <laughs> fucking Jesus. <laughs> hey, that's... Hey, I fucked her, though, because like I guess I fucked her. She was honest. I really don't think we have anything that's going to interest you, sir. Damon was once ignored in a Mercedes dealership. He left with a two hundred thousand dollar car. You know how mad that shit. nigga that was. Excuse, let me stop saying this term. The person that was selling cars. He's like, mm -hmm, I'm not going to him. And then next, know you next pull salesman. up, and the next person they like, yo, hey, uh, I'm getting. I need that two hundred thousand dollar car right hey, now. Hey, and I'll pick chick was. I worked in a commission store as well. My name, no, my, my G, two hundred thousand on the commission. Yeah. Even yeah, at five percent, yeah, I'm yeah. Saying, you're getting at least and, and, seven. And, that's, and it's not even like you yeah. really had to work for it. That person came in and spent the money. Knew what and, he wanted. and it's crazy because I've been in positions like that to where I've seen someone and they've ignored me type shit. I'm just like, oh, okay. And then the next person come up, oh, well, I already know what I want. Boom, it's an easy sale for you. Just give me what I want. I'm spending the money. You getting paid off of it type shit. Like people will really look at, exactly. and even like just for me working in Sprint for the little time I did. Like, I would look at people, oh, like, huh, they may not know. But they'd come in, spend five, six hundred. Like, they would spend the money type shit. Just, you may not think they got it, but you can't judge a book by its cover type shit. You never know. For real. We're very kind of a classic gentleman look. I don't know what that means, but I'm just going to look at a suit, okay? I got a credit card. I can pay for this. You have a credit card. I do have a credit card. I want to see it. Here it go. We don't take stolen credit cards, sir. Oh, oh, man, see, that's that shit. Console. Not they a word. They work. They ain't do shit. Even when our salesperson gets <laughs> Yeah, they just ignored that shit. You know. I don't believe this. What? This is messed up. I sir, do. we need you to take your jacket off, okay? Is this legal? Yes, it's legal. I didn't have to protect her. No cap, I can imagine this happening also. I can't. to protect merchandise in the store. I am. Gabriel is clearly not getting any help from our salesman. I'm so amazed so at these this actors next that are being racist for so much and acting. <laughs> yeah, cause, cause, yeah, they're really good at it. Yes. I'm, I'm really, it's pissing me it's off. Kinda, yeah, you're like, like, man, what the fuck? Like, fuck you. But, but <laughs> I, I would have flipped out by now. <laughs> but Soon as they were told me to strip, like, I would have like, all right, dude, you got me fucked up. Like, nigga, if I was him, I probably would have bought my black card with me, my all black card platinum. Bop, nigga. How the fuck is this stolen, nigga? I got more bands yeah. than all of y'all, nigga. Wait, wait, wait. But you know that they're acting, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just acting. Everyone here is actors. That's facts. He probably got a black platinum card. I ain't gonna flex. Uh, no, like, no, Kels. The, the people being racist are actors. Yeah. Yeah, they're in on this. Uh, oh, my. This. God. 
Shit, what the fuck, Cal? <laughs> you thought they were being racist and recording? Uh, no, no, I'm just saying. I say it about you can't just go in like, oh, no, we need to pat you down. <laughs> Damn it. No, this is, it's, it's fucking, what would you do? In the beginning of the video, it showed him actor. It showed the white guy actor. What the fuck? All this racist shit got me baffled. <laughs> <laughs> because what feel like it's real. That's all I have to say. He said, I would have slammed my black card down. Like, yeah. nah. Yeah. That's how I feel. Is he bothering you? I don't, I'm sorry. Does it work with the hoodie? No. <laughs> But again, our salesman is right there, thinking and saying the worst of Gabriel. Sir, can I just take a look inside that jacket? Why? I, I feel as though you may have put something in that jacket. Can you just pat him down and make sure that he doesn't have anything? So far, no one seems to object to this embarrassing public pat down. Then if you get that mad and punch him in that face, you get in charge. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 There's nothing you can really do. I, I don't want to intrude or anything, but uh -huh. you know, I live in Europe, so... Okay. I mean, this would never happen. Oh, he came with the inspiration. You call profile on the basis of the looks of someone. Wow. Uh, can anyone make any conclusions on the basis of color or, or you know, looks and color? I mean, nine times out of ten, someone steals something, they look like him. Raul is speechless. Are you saying I was wrong? Oh, yeah. Hold on, my fault. I missed what he said. Or making conclusions on the basis of color or you know looks and stuff like that. I mean, nine times out of ten, someone steals something. Oh, okay. They look like him. Raul is speechless. Are you saying I was wrong? Oh yeah. Yeah, bitch. But his wife, she's just getting started. So I was making you uncomfortable. He looks like he's someone that would steal oh, from oh, this guy. Yo, this acting. Yeah, the acting. It really like pissing me off. Before she gives us any proof, it's time to introduce ourselves. Do you notice right away, and you whisper it to your husband? I said I just want to leave. Right away. Yes. Yeah. She wasn't very far from slapping you guys. <laughs> Until Real now, shit, though. Damon has just been watching our scenario unfold. Ah, shit, he about to get into it. Get ready for the next thing. Ah, shit. But what if he jumps oh, right shit. in? Oh, shit. No, you know you oh, fucked up oh, when you had the drip. Yeah, that's that, that, and, and that's what I brought up in the he beginning of the video. Yeah. That's, He's that's like, man, saying. fuck this shit. Like, give me that shit. Nigga. I'm about to go in. This shit <laughs> pissing me off. You got dreads and it's an automatic. You got to be ready to go. Oh, yeah, you're a nigga. Once you got them the dreads and the... Whatever else, the all black one, you all covered up. Yeah. Motherfuckers is automatically gonna assume something. That's crazy. For real, though. It's this multi millionaire is about to be profiled. Multi millionaire. I'm just gonna give me a second here to check in your jacket. We need to check my jacket. No, we need the security. I this next man notices, but he doesn't say a word. What do you, what do you mean? Well, now Damon, like Gabriel before him, is in the middle of the store, getting stopped, harassed, and frisked. I'm pretty sure I saw you put something in your pocket. I just stood right here. I just walked in. Just give him a quick pat down and let's make sure that he didn't take anything, okay? He could That's be worth wild. the GDP of a small country and still no one steps in. So we send our shark back into the tank one last time. Sir, do you have any idea? Nobody oh, steps is that another black guy there? It's oh, very expensive oh, here. It's a very high-end store. This is mostly Wall Street banker types. He okay, looked like he about to say it. some he shit. Like, Hold up. This next man just can't turn away. Same people that look like you that come in and, you know, I mean, you're making people uncomfortable. Oh, I'm not being a black yo, person. Yo, that nigga is going. Yo, like, nigga, like, yo, what? 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 Yeah, nigga, people what? that look like me. What? Look like, like what? Like, everyone that look at this like, face. Yeah, right? you look at him right the there. Face. That nigga is like, what? <laughs> yeah, this is for oh whole my face. God. Turn. Back into the tank. Fuck. One last time. Sir, do you have any idea how much the store costs? I mean, things are very expensive here. It's a very high-end store. This is he like he knows. He's like, hold on, hold on. Well, uh, that's, that don't sound right. Okay, I mean, I, I get it. I'm, this next man just can't turn away. <laughs> Same people that look like you that come in and you know. Uh -huh. I mean, you're making them, people them, uncomfortable. Uh, Why would you? Yeah. What? You're just not the type of customer that we have. Just look at him. Yeah, but I've been lingering around with the phone call. I mean, I don't usually get into people's business, but it's a judgment call you're making based on how someone looks. I've been lingering around even longer. 
you know, you're dressed very nicely. I think you're being totally inappropriate. I'm sorry that you're feeling that way. And I like how he's handling it in a good way. He's not really coming like, fuck you. Like, you like a, like a, well, I mean, he, you know he, he, he got, you can tell the other dude has, he comes from money and all that. So mm. it ain't like he's going to come in there like, oh, hey. Yeah. But still like at the same with, time, like he knows that it's, it's racist. He could have been like, yeah, you know, you fucking racist. But he's like, yo, no, that's not, that's not appropriate. Yeah. for yeah, how he's how he's yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, what the fuck? Like, don't be surprised. He pull up, he's like, hey, come here, let me talk to you. <laughs> hey, bro, I'm I'm after the scene, I'm after the after scene, scene. Man. like nigga, nigga, nah, this is the mic right here, man. Like, let's trip me, man. This is the joke. This is the point. Chill, chill, chill. Apologies to him. I think you should mind your own business. No, I, I could respect that, but at the same time, when you see injustice taking place, like you're doing right now, people have to step up. You feel safe around me? That's a good guy. Guy. I feel less safe based on your comments right now. I think the way you're engaging him. Uh -huh. Makes me feel unsafe because it's filled with bias. I think it's filled with a lot of prejudgment, and I think you guys should engage in. I think it's. Mm -hmm. What would you do? He's like, oh damn, these niggas like, got, got me. Y'all got me. Oh man. You niggas got me. You motherfuckers. The fact that you're African American has something to do with it. Of course, I've been subjected to uh, discrimination. You being have. Up, hey, it's hard to escape it in New York. I'm like, motherfucker, obviously. <laughs> he said, the fact that you're African-American wants something to do with right. it. You know the answer. Don't ask me this right, question. Right, exactly. Right. Come on, man. <laughs> he just said he, that he just someone that looks here. like that isn't welcome. Exactly. <laughs> That's what y'all set this shit up for. Y'all know what y'all was doing, motherfucker. <laughs> Anyway, if I'm not dressed like this, if I have on my basketball cap and I walk into a store, it's the same kind of thing. And you can be wrong about who that person is. Absolutely. It could be me. The guy is getting ready to hold up the store, dressed in a uh, dress. That guy could have a lot of money. Absolutely. You're in a Shark Tank. Absolutely. You know Damon John. I thought that was Damon. I said this was like this. Is I Damon. have some rich nigga shit. Yeah, I like, thought oh, that was some rich nigga shit. I know you, man. <laughs> I mean, he didn't really sell me dreads, though. Yeah, he did. Like, you gave me that all with that amazing dress. In other words, don't judge a person by his or her color because you can so often be wrong. We get a good message, guys. Everyone feels good now. You know what I'm saying? We be, we be reacting to a lot of ignorant shit, a lot of bad shit, you know what I'm saying? But it's good to bring justice. Well, not justice, because you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas may not really, like, you know what I'm saying, do shit, but... Y'all can understand it from a nigga like me, you know what I'm saying? No, I ain't even gonna say African American. Y'all, I'm a, I'm a, all right, I'm gonna classify y'all as the African American. I'm gonna classify myself as the nigga because with the the tats, the dreads, the motherfucking chain, whatever they want to look at it, you know what I'm saying? I do begin profile whether it be in in motherfucking restaurants and food places. The shit really pisses me off. I really feel like that's why I get bad service because they look at me and I'm just like. Man, this nigga. He just you got six four shit. nigga. You yeah, got nigga. six four nigga walking your restaurant with dreads in his face, eyes hair, mustache covering his whole lip, tats all. You can't even see his fucking <laughs> arm. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He got piercings on his face. Yeah. You're like, damn, I seen you on YouTube before smoking a joint, dude. So, like, what are you doing in my restaurant? Like, what are you about to do? You got to do a reaction to my food or something? Like, what do you want? Like, it's a whole but, lot of shit. Yeah, but at the same time, I'm coming in there and I'm spending money and I'm going to tip as long as you give me good service. People be like, yeah, you should tip wherever. I don't give a fuck. If you give me good service, I'm going to tip it. If Thanks. you give me bad service, I will literally write zero on that check. I will Thanks. literally leave you a fucking condom or something like i'll leave you something stupid so where you're gonna look at it and be like what the fuck and i'll be like yeah you stupid yeah i've done that before i left the condom i was out with my girl with my baby you know what I'm saying? i was out there and the mother gave us bad service i was like all right motherfucker take a condom have safe sex like what the fuck you got me fucked up the fuck i look like giving you money for this bad service y'all niggas ain't even refill my drink y'all ain't come back ask me how i was doing these niggas let me fucked up but you know what i'm saying i got money i'm ready to spend it so don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't judge a book by its cover. Facts, you know what facts. I'm saying? That's what we learned today. Yeah, exactly. Facts. So yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, man. Uh, make sure y'all like, comment, don't subscribe, subscribe, all that. Till next time, YouTube. Don't judge a fucking book by its cover. <laughs>
LA, we taking trips and skipping all these states. We skipping these states and leaving all the bullshit up in the past. Huh? Memories of demons, all the bad shit was on my hands. Huh? And my car speeding, y'all didn't see me when I passed. Huh? Living my life so fast, huh? I got my foot on the gas. I got my foot on the gas, ain't stopping until I get popping. I live every day like it's my last. These niggas like police here, move they watching. This chopper had them crop topping. I ain't going back to top ramen. Make it do what I say like I'm Simon. Get to kick flip, bitch, I'm grinding. I've been so motherfucking tired, but can't afford to take a nap. I don't shake hands, can't do dap. Acting like a bitch, you get slapped. Hella cars, I don't know what to drive. I'm trying to hop up in the back. I was broke until I felt the pack. Took a second, I didn't look back. These niggas think they want to battle, but these niggas ain't going to war.